Well, Downtown Fresno is wrapping up Pride Month, so the Downtown Fresno Partnership has sent us Ella Stimpian with all the details on how they're closing things out. So uh, you are an artist, and you know what better way than to get all these creative people and celebrate? So how are you guys closing out and celebrating the end of Pride Month? Well, we have gathered around 17 artists and three different biz small businesses that are going to be having food and drinks and we're going to be celebrating art together um, at the historic Water Tower downtown. And we're also going to be having aerial dancing Ooh. in our little event from 6 to 11. When is this event? It is on June 30th. Okay, June 30th. So the five... Are there 31 days or 30 in June? I always forget. I think it's, it's, I think it's 30. It's yeah. the last day. Yeah. So the last day of Pride, we're going to celebrate with some art, with some performances in the historic water tower that, that has recently been renovated, right? Yes, he's currently renovating it. The What's it? Have you been in there? Have you seen it yet? I have. It is beautiful. Like He has lights projected in there. It's full of art. There's fiber art. Um, there's photography, ceramics, regular paintings. There's just so many different variations of visual arts that are going to be represented and um, within the water tower the bricks just go up so high it's yeah. so beautiful. I, I know I'm excited to see it. This is Frida Cafe that's that's in yes. the water tower right so this is um, this is the leasee the person who's leasing this water tower is now turning it into a great art space and a cafe. I think that's a great spot yeah. for it. So how did you gather all of these artists to come yeah. on this same day and and yeah. show their work off? Um, well I would say a good amount of them were people that I had just men in the community. Um, I do host um, artists at my studio in downtown Fresno and I've met a lot of them through that. Um, and other artists were artists that the owner Albie brought in. Uh -huh. um, so it was just a gathering of a lot of different types of people that were all a part of the LGBTQ plus community. Yes and I feel like artists sort of find each other mm -hmm. you know what I mean because yeah. you're all sort of like on the same wavelength and that you right. want to occupy creative space. Yeah. So you mentioned um, a couple of things that you've seen in the water tower on this day. Does the event have a name? Um, we're, call it, we're calling it Close Out Pride. Okay, Close Out Pride. So when we go to Close Out Pride, what kinds of you know, art mediums can we expect? There will be photography, ceramics, um, there's fiber art like crocheted pieces, yeah. there's um, paintings, drawings, mixed media, so collaborations of all of those things together. There is like people from mainly Fresno, but I would say the San Joaquin Valley, and we also have an artist from LA that is going to be showing oh, wow. as well. So it's a little bit of everybody that's going to be involved in the show. Yeah, I love it when people can get you know out of town artists to come show off their work here yeah. because it's a there's a lot of artists here and there's a there's yes. a great artistic community. So what do you think about closing out Pride with an event like this? What inspired you to set it all up? Um, I would say me and Albie collaborated on the idea, um, and I would also like to say that I was not the only one to make the flyer. I want to give a shout out to Jada and Remy for um, helping me make the flyer because it was gorgeous. Yeah, I it's know cute. Got to see it. I like it. Um, but I. I asked my community, I asked the people that were involved in the show, like, do you guys know anybody that you would want to recommend? And from there, we just made more connections and came together, and it was really the help of everybody else, I would say. And, and art and the LGBTQ plus community, that always goes hand in hand. There, you know, that community has so many creative people and there's just such a creative spark within within that community. Yes. How do you explain to people what the connection is, what the importance of is art of art in the community for people who might not not know much about it? Yeah, I would say that um, this event specifically means a lot to me and I'm sure the other artists as well because um, a lot of times LGBTQ people aren't given the space and the time of day to have their art presented and have it mean something to the community as well instead of just being shunned out into specific parts and we're just trying to make a space for everybody and we're trying to incorporate everybody's ideas into this event um, to make it an inclusive, safe, friendly um, event for all. I think too, you know, in, in 
in history, artists may have been able to uh, put their work on display, but part of their identity was probably not the focus. That part of how they lived their lives was maybe not uh, the focus of their art or, or it just wasn't as prevalent. And so now we get to, we get we get to, to talk about people's yeah. identity and, and what's important to them and also put their art on display. So when can people go? Where is it? And then do they have to get tickets or how do we attend? Um, so the event is free for all to attend. Um, it is going to be at 2444 Fresno Street, which is the historic water tower in downtown Fresno. Um, and the event will be on June 30th from 6 to 11 p.m. Okay, perfect. Well, I can't wait to see you there. I can't wait to see uh, the renovated water tower because it is yes. such a great building. Thank you so much for being here. We will have all the information online as well so you can get it there. Ella, thank you so much. And everybody else, stay right there. We'll be right back.